Hi everybody, I'm Oliver Hines, aka Diamond Arsenal Man on the and I'm really happy to say we're with Woody from Corrosion and Conformity. Yes, yes, I'm very glad to be back in Cardiff. <laughs> no <Some> doubt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll strike into it then, dear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the new album, uh, No Cross, No Crown, has been out almost a year now, probably about 10 months. I think yeah, it came out January of this That's year. Right, yeah, yeah, which I happen to have right here. There it is. You can go buy your copy as well. There it is. Yeah. If you're at the show tonight, you can buy it here. Or anywhere, just buy it. Yeah. Support (laughs) the artist. But um, no, I mean, there's a it's a very interesting album. It's considerably longer than the last two since you've come back. Well, I say considerably, it's about 20 minutes longer than the other two. Yeah. About 15 songs in it, all in all. Um, So, what was the reasoning behind it being a longer album this time? Well, we did. We had a lot of material. I mean, we we left a few things on the table, you know. But uh, we wanted to make a a full album, you mm-hmm. know, like a front to back, something you could listen to. You know, I guess it clocks in a little over an hour, but it's, you know, it's not super long. But uh, no, no, it's not too long. But we, it's actually, we were kind of done with what we had, and our uh, our producer John Custer, who we've been working with since the Blind album, you know, uh, he was like, man, you know, he's been asking us for years. He's mm-hmm. been begging us to do a Queen song. Okay. And so that was like one of the last things we did was we, we did the uh, uh, Son and Daughter, which is the last song on the record. Yeah. <clears throat> and so I, I guess it kind of pushed it over the top with that time wise. But uh, yeah, so it, was, it was like last minute additions and stuff. You know? yeah, okay, cool. But it all comes together well. It all comes to create this um, uh, very, it flows very well kind of thing. It's a very fluid album. Um, and there's a lot of, in a way, it's almost like a best of corrosion conformity. There's, there's like bits you can hear from uh, like the the eighties, and you can hear bits from the nineties. Yeah, it's kind all, of a culmination, along, along with new ideas and whatever. Right, which is great. right. It's what keeps it going. We never want to make the same record twice, but yeah, you know, there's yeah. elements of. I mean, you can tell a COC, you know, so absolutely. Which it should. Yeah. Hopefully, you can. <laughs> but it says it right there. It says it, it, says it right on the front. front. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, um, obviously, this is the first album with Pepper f- since 2005, uh, Arms yeah, of God. that's right. Um, how would songwriting change this time to In the Arms of God? I think, well, we, I think, like, for instance, the in, in the Arms of God record, we we were, like, in the in the rehearsal space, you know, working on that record for quite a while, demoing it, mm. you know, several times. And this album, we didn't approach it like that. We pretty much went in the studio and wrote and recorded as we went along, you yeah. know. So we would go in with, you know, just maybe ideas in our head mm-hmm. at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day walk out with basically, you know, a song on tape, you know, yeah. that didn't exist before. So it was, from that perspective, it was a little different, but I mean, um, it, it was like, I, we talked about it when we went in, like, well, where, do we, where are we gonna jump off, guys? You know, where are we gonna, where's our leap off platform, you know? And, and the aforementioned uh, Arms of God was like, well, Let's get our minds there mm. where we left off and just sort of progress from there. Absolutely. And yeah. so it kind of is a little bit, but you know, once you get into it, like th- those ideas sort of fall to the wayside and you're just, whatever comes out, comes out. But uh, yeah. But it was a fun way to do a record. I'd like to do one like that again, you know? Cool. Uh, it's uh, produced a good result, so hopefully. Yeah. Next yeah. time. But um, one thing uh, as well I'd like to talk about is the artwork, which is very, very cool. It's very. Um, Kind of seventies looking, I think. It's the kind of thing you used to find. Well, I said I wasn't born then, but I would imagine you found back then, like kind of budgy looking. Kind of thing, you know? And it's got all the uh, like your marks around it. And all yeah, well, you, it. anybody who's a vinyl collector exactly, knows yeah. when you're sliding them in and out of the, you yeah. know, it gets the like rings around where the vi- the actual vinyl sort of poking yeah. through. That's why I'm looking at the CD. I'm going, fucking state of this. Why do keep them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just pre aged it a little bit for them. But you know, yeah. it, it was it was one of those deals where. When we got finished with the with the music, we wanted to make a cover that sort of sounded like it fit mm-hmm. what was on the CD or the vinyl or whatever the heck yeah. you're buying. You know, so it kind of does. It matches. You know, it kind of absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah. The, <laughs> all comes together well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, that's um, what you want. Absolutely. But we'll get we'll get into the live setting now. It's been a relatively extensive tour of the UK. A lot of bands come over and they'll just do London or. Right. Maybe, maybe Birmingham and Scotland, but this has been quite. I mean, I know you were in Glasgow two days ago. Yeah, yeah. Where was it your last night? We're covering quite a bit. I mean, I, I know we're not hitting everywhere, but I mean, it's uh, you know to be able to come come over and do. You know, we did three shows in Ireland, and I think eight total in in, mm. uh, in the UK here. And uh, I mean, it's uh, it's nice to be able to do that. Mm. You know, to be able to travel that extensively. You know, and, and I know there's a lot of towns that we didn't hit, but you know. 
I mean, like for instance, uh, some of the cities we're playing are like you know an hour and a half away from the, yeah. <laughs> you know, so so it, at home people would be like you know because you're going to drive that far. Well, I was going to say I understand. Yeah, it, you know. in America, it's. Well, I was in Florida at the beginning of the year, so oh, we're going to go to this place. It's only about an hour away. Yeah, and you over here, you go an hour, an hour away. away. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, yeah. I've got things to do. So it's it's <laughs> nice for us. It, it's nice to have the fan base over here mm. that you know will allow that to happen you know and because uh, it is true a lot of a lot of times we've come over and if you're doing a festival or something like earlier in the year we did a festival we did one other uk show mm. you know and then and then went on to more so it's nice to be able to yeah, be here really, for a minute give you know? people like a real taste of coc it's you know? yeah it's, it's great yeah. and we've been switching to say like you know we've changing things around you know playing a few different songs at different nights and stuff so it's fun to be able to do that too you know yeah it's, it's i mean especially like i say 15 songs on the album you've got a lot to choose from let alone the yeah, back catalog not to mention the other 10 or 12 albums yeah. exactly yeah so I mean, it's, it's hard to it's hard to decide on set list you know if, yeah. if you're doing uh, even though you know we're, we're closing the show but it's, it's sort of billed as a dual headline kind of thing with the OG guys and we're supposed to both be playing an hour or whatever we've been playing a little longer uh, just because I mean we got so much stuff you know it's hard to squeeze what, what people want to hear into you know just a 60 minute thing you know? yeah man I mean there's a uh... Well, we, you know, I mentioned we did those three Irish shows, and they, they were just our shows. We had some local Irish bands who were great, but okay, uh, cool. we were doing like 90 minutes, you know, doing an hour and a half yeah. without a blink in an eye, and we still had more to do, <laughs> you know, so trying to squeeze it down to 60 or 70 minutes, it's yeah. it's kind of hard. Sure, it'll get to a point like uh, your Guns N' Roses, where they're playing three hours. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're working themselves. I, I saw them this, uh, this past summer, uh, they were doing a couple of festivals we were mm -hmm. on, and uh, they were good, you know, I was like, fair yeah, enough, yeah. you know, whatever. Nice. Slash is still, you know, he's up still, there doing this. Chops, man. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. But um, obviously, the back catalogue's a lot to talk about. There's so much just solid material there, which has been recognised not just commercially or um, critically. With I know you're nominated for a Grammy for a Drowning in a Daydream. I think it was. Yeah, a Wise Blood record. Yeah, yeah that was, I mean, that was a nice nod. You know. Yeah. But, not that important to it's us, but you know, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice to hear like a little nod, but yeah. but it's one of those things where. The corrosion and conformity they've never seemed to lose the um the fan base or or the credibility of, of the fan base everyone will still go oh that's a band that won't let you down coc mm -hmm. and i'm not blowing smoke up your ass it's true it's, it's nice it's to have something. that yeah. <laughs> we've always said we we're, we're we're super lucky to have the fans with you because they're not fickle fans no, no they don't they don't like the band for like a year and move on to the, Mm. It's like, well, you know, the dudes that come out, yeah. some have been fans for 30 plus years, and then there's always the new folks too, you know, Absolutely, yeah. or the old guys are bringing their kids, or whatever it is. You and know, it's, it's, it's like, an amazing thing because there's been a, like a constant sound of COC from the very beginning, but very different areas touched upon. I mean, true, sometimes yeah. people kind of class COC as more as like a southern rock thing or something yeah, like that. They've, they've, they've tried, tried to label us a lot of different things. Done. You go yeah. back to the old crossover <laughs> stuff and uh, the hardcore and things like that. Yeah. And so to to have maintained people that liked you from the hardcore days up to right. the wise button. Yeah, that's nice. Like that. that's that's great. Some of those guys have grown with the band, you know, yeah, so that's but, cool. Yeah. But it's a testament as well that you can reach into new areas and not, for lack of a better term, sell out. You know well, I mean? yeah, you can. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And, and for us, it's always our mantra, you know, thinking about new, when we start thinking about new music and whatnot. We, we don't, we're not, uh, we don't go check what's the hottest shit, no, 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 so, so to speak, at the moment. We're not, we're never chasing stuff like that. We just, whatever comes naturally is our thing, you know. We don't follow, we've never jumped on any bandwagon, so to speak. We've never tried that, you know. So I think that's why, you know, 30, whatever, 36, 37 years, we're yeah, still here, you know. that's what keeps you going. But um, <laughs> one song I did want to talk about is uh, Vote With A Bullet. Right. Which obviously... Well, I say, obviously, I think it's the first song of Pepper on vocals. Yeah, and on the Blind album. That's right. Yeah, because yep. uh, I saw an interview of Mike yesterday where he was saying about when you you were initially searching for a new vocalist, and then it's like, oh, you sang on both the bullets. Yeah, because we did. Whenever we were working on the Deliverance record, we had the music done, mm. and uh, and 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 the gentleman Carl who had sang on the Blind record most of the songs, he he just uh, he, you know he we just sort of parted ways and, and during the Deliverance recording and. You know, we were like, well, you know, let's go hunt a vocalist. And then finally, after a while, we were like, Pepper. Yeah. Why don't you, you, know just, why don't you just fucking do it? You know? yeah. <laughs> and he did. You yeah. know? Yeah. But I, was, uh, I was reading a little bit about the song itself this morning. 
and um, apparently it was written specifically about a Senate campaign in North Carolina. I can't remember the guy's name now, but he was quite a right wing candidate. Yeah, I don't know if it was a split, but maybe it was. Yeah, yeah I mean, but... this apparently this is according to Reid. Oh, okay, according to Reid, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you I'm never know. I'm not ragging on him. I just don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I I look at more as like a uh, you know not not so much a literal thing like you're going to pick up a rifle, but I mean you know well, of course not. No. Think about what's going on. You know, yeah. pay attention to the pile of the world around you. You know, yeah. it's like do the right thing. You yeah, know, yeah, get yeah. out there and, and actually vote. Maybe not actually with a bullet, but no, but <laughs> make your make your point. Yeah, yeah. Um, just not necessarily an arrow tip. Um, but are you going to be able to get back to vote in the midterms next week? Yes, I am. I'm going to get back uh, the day of, I believe. Oh, okay. So I'll be able to boogie on out and cast my vote. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it ought to be, right? Exactly. Of course, yeah. you, I could have uh, done a, uh, what do you call it, uh, absentee. Vote, yeah, absolutely. yeah, whatever. But I was like, oh, but I'll be back. You know? Yeah, yeah, make sure. It's a bit more fun being there. Yeah, you go there and you click yeah. the whatever to click the lever. Actually, you push a button on a damn computer <laughs> screen now. Yeah. Yeah. There's some controversy about that. People yeah, say who knows if it's, you can trust it? Shit, I don't know. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you know what, what you've done. So. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and speaking of Reed, um, I believe he's not with you. He's not here. No, John Green from uh, Manchester. Oh, okay. He's been traveling with us for quite a while, actually. But uh, Reed had surgery earlier in the year, and he's yeah. just having some health problems. So okay, we're wishing him well, but he's not here. <laughs> no, it's a shame. But uh, yeah. will he will he be back? I hope so. Or? I hope so. Man. Okay, yeah. cool. We'll wait and see. Yeah, see how he does. You know, he's he's working on it. Okay, sweet. Because <laughs> <laughs> again, you've got this, this. What many people would be considered the classic lineup of COC Day: right. yourself, Mike, Pepper, and Reed. Right. And it all comes to, and that's. Part of the reason why I think it's such a good album is that instead of like, oh, we got this guy back, but this one's left, so right, yeah. which, which can have an, a good effect of like a youthful energy. But when you've got the four people that know each other, it's like having the original Black Sabbath back together. <laughs> <you know? laughs> right, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and, and you know, Reed did quite a bit of touring with us when this kicked off, and his knees started giving him great. You know, usually, you know, I mean, we're all you know getting a couple years long in the tooth you know yeah but the drummers have it the worst man because they're pounding on you know they're doing all this and yeah knees start going out and shoulders and elbows you know, just gonna wear the, the cartilage away and it's, yeah, yeah man you know so shit happens but uh, we, we're wishing them the best so cool well thank you ever so much for taking time to speak to me today i really do appreciate Absolutely, it man i appreciate yeah. you man thank you very much yeah. i'm really looking forward to gigs it's gonna be my first time i don't know about you yeah, but yeah my first there time well. Well. yeah well enjoy it i, I hope it's you. loud enough <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget, no cross, no crown. Yep. Buy or die. Peace.